Right, here we go. A rather dodgy looking standard fuchsia that needs a prune. We're going to show you how to do that just now. But before that, I couldn't resist showing off these, um, these ballerina tulips on a spring's evening. They almost seem to glow in the evening sun, don't they? And those little happy also remind me of faces those uh, those violas there hey mate you all right Uchi, Uchi, Uchi. yeah so um uh, nothing at all to do with fuchsias but uh i thought i'd show you that that's ballerina tulips and some violas don't they look great now it's time for the future the fuchsia's bright the tulips are orange <laughs> Morning. You're right. I'm whispering because I've gone round to my wife's side of the garden. This is Beloved's patch here, and um, she doesn't like me meddling too much here. Um, <laughs> but I brought my secateurs along, and I'm going to do a little bit of a prune on this standard fuchsia um, that we've had now for I think about two two years, and we've left it outside um, through the winters. Um, winter before last it was quite a mild winter it came through no problem this this winter it was we had some proper proper frosts and things um for a few weeks um even had some lighter frost last week as well and we're into early early may now um but it's come through as you can see we've got some new new growth here and i just want to finish tidying up the pruning she's had a little bit of a snip around she had a bit of a dabble doesn't look much cop does it so i'm going to come along and do a proper job <laughs> and see if she notices um so uh, and when we finish that i'm going to go and have a look at a, a hardy bush fuchsia out in the, the border just behind me it's also uh, on uh, beloved's garden um but i'm going to just tidy that up as well and um you let me know what you think does it look better anyway here we go so here's our standard fuchsia and you can see that there's lots of nice new growth coming here we've left all last year's growth there we pushed it into the corner there so it had a little bit of warmth from the house and it sat there and by I suppose early March we could see a, a couple of little shoots like this starting to shoot actually I'm gonna take those off <laughs> dear she won't like me doing this um, I'm gonna take those off because I want all the goodness the energy to go up into the top of the plant um, we don't want flowering shoots at the, the bottom they'll just be resting on the on the floor um, so we, we left all the dead growth on there over the over the winter. That dead growth will have offered some sort of protection um, from the um, fr from the from the winter weather. Um, but we just waited, and the key here is to wait. If you're wondering whether whether or not to prune your your fuchsia um, sometime in spring, when you can see the new shoots coming, and that would be the time to consider pruning. Um, you don't want to encourage too much new growth too soon because basically when you prune you encourage new growth and if you encourage lots of new growth by pruning a you've removed any of the kind of protective twigs and things that are on there and also you've encouraged it to put on new growth and then if we get some colder weather again later in spring um, that new growth could get frosted so here we are we're ready to have a go so now um, where do we start let's start at the top okay I'm gonna trim off I know there's a shoot on the top there just type remove these protruding dead bits of stem here I'm gonna take this back because he's just sticking out a bit too far you've got to try and get a balanced look there so I, although there's some nice shoots there uh, I don't want it it's gonna stick out too far you want to get a nice even head so I'm gonna take those off like that there are some new shoots just behind there you can see behind my muddy finger um, that will quickly replace those that we just pruned off okay let's get rid of that doesn't seem to be any new growth on there seems to be dead i'm going to take him back to just leave a little bit of stump there's a dormant bud just there um, by my finger you never know we might get a shoot out of there same with this one here there's no obvious signs of shoots on there but there is a dormant bud just there yeah so let's take him to there and that one i'll take to there you can see there's a nice strong shoot there 
I'll leave that one at the back, that's fine to tidy that up there. Um, I always wondered if I should have been a barber if I wasn't a gardener. Um, I do seem to like trimming and doing a nice short back and side on the plant. Or do you know what, it's looking, looking better already. How can my wife complain about this? Huh? Uh, how lucky she is to have, <laughs> to have me as a husband, eh? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'm taking a bit of a risk here, but there is a nice shed that I could sleep in if I get kicked out. Um, Okay, so there you go. Now you can see lots of new growth and just by cutting away those those other twigs, all the energy now is going to be focused on this kind of this main head of, um, of, of new growth. Uh, probably just needs really restaking. Can you see he's leaning? Yeah, you can see there better. So I'm just going to um, afterwards, I'll just tie him up a little bit more upright. We've topped up the um, the compost. That's one that my wife did, so she did a great job there. Well done. Um, uh, uh, some fresh compost. I've put some um, some slow release fertilizer on as well. And um, within where are we now? Do, 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 uh, six weeks, something like that. Two months at the most. Um, we should have lots of new growth and some flowers. And I'm going to put some pictures on here now of uh, how the standard fuchsia looked through last summer. It looked lovely, didn't it? So there are some fuchsias that are hardy, hardier than others. Um, so you know it's worth looking into if you're thinking of a hard, um, of a standard fuchsia, um, um, looking to see if you can get one that's a hardy variety. So it's going to have more chance of surviving um, over winter. Um, if we had a really, really hard winter, you might find that the top would die and it would only have a bit of life in the roots. In which case, then you can either let it grow as a as a bush. It would send up new shoots from the from the below the ground or you could try and retrain one of those shoots up the bamboo cane and and start again but we're in a kind of a nice um, warm sunny corner of the garden here uh, so it's kind of it had a fairly protected tucked into that corner um, fairly protected winter and has come back even after that hard weather has come back well now let's go and have a look over here so just next to this rather lovely uh, uh, GM, isn't it? I think that is. Yeah, nice um, perennial GM. Um, here's a bush fuchsia, um, and you can see the new growth starting there. So I'm going to start hacking, <laughs> hacking away at this. I'm starting off by just pruning down to where I can see some new growth. Um, and I'm just going to kind of arrive at a level that's going to be the top of the plant and then shape all the other branches. Some of them haven't got any new growth just yet, but I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I think I can see a bud. Can you see just there? There's a little hint of something growing there. That's a bud, so let's get that out of the way. So I want to try and achieve a nice, neat, even dome here if I can. Um, so. I'm going to turn the camera off for a second or two while I get around this and then um, you can have a look at the finished um, finish job. See you in a minute. There you go, didn't take long. So you can see now that we've got a nice little dome of um, yellow new growth, just need to remove that one there. Yeah, so he's going to He's going to shoot away. Um, I might just sneak some um, some fertilizer on the bottom of there. Some of my favourite slow release fertilizer. If my wife um, isn't looking, and um, well, she'll thank me in a month or two when it's in full flower and bushy. Um, hope that helps. Any questions? Any comments? Please uh, uh, let us know via our YouTube channel. We love to hear from you and uh, your questions. And uh, um, yeah, we we'll catch up soon. Enjoy your gardens. Bye.